Window. Very good book, and it's a must read for all Rangers fans. Uh, so we're going to leave you with the, the interview. Uh, this is Derek Nevin, who spoke to me during the week here at Ibrox Radio. And after the interview, we'll be giving you a chance to call in to win this book. Absolute fantastic, guys. Thanks for joining us here at Ibrox Radio. Here at Derek Nevin. We spoke to him earlier on this week. Ibrox Radio is um, proud to have uh, Derek Niven on uh, the, the show tonight. Um, uh, Derek has published the book, The Untold Story of the Men and Women Who Made Barca Bears. Hello, Derek. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Kenny. How are you doing? Nice to have, uh, nice to have been asked to come on the show tonight. And uh, I hope uh, that the teddy the, the bears are... Quite interested in my new book. The, the main title being Pride of the Bears. Pride of told, the Bears. Yeah, Pride of the Bears. The untold story of the men and women who made the Barker Bears. Yes, that's correct. Now, um, all, all our listeners, you know, are, are keen to know a bit about yourself, obviously, and the book. So, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Um, how you got to, um, put, how you got to put this book together, etc. Yeah. Well, Going, going back to my roots, uh, I was actually born uh, in a place called Corker Hill. I don't know if you know, Kenny, do you? Corker Hill, yeah, I do, yep. It's, it's about a mile and a half away from uh, Ibrook Stadium, uh, and uh, actually in 1969, my dad took me to, he was a big Rangers fan, and he took me to Ibrook to uh, see the Rangers Gornick. Uh, you'll, you'll be too young to remember yeah. that game. Yeah. Uh, and Ra- Rangers were down uh, 3-1 from the first leg, uh, but they were actually um, a forecast to to take Gornick apart that night. But unfortunately, they lost 3-1 again at home and without 6-2 in aggregate. Uh, and my poor old father says, I'll not be back at Ibrox again. <laughs> But he, he did take his other sons back. He never took me back. But uh, um, I actually went to Alan Glenn's, and this, this is this is where the Derek Niven comes in. Uh, there was a boy who went to Alan Glenn's in 1931. And his name was Derek Niven Van den Bogard, and he, he became one of Alan Glenn's uh, biggest stars because he ended up being Sir Dirk Bogard. Remember him? Yeah, vaguely, yeah. Vaguely, a great, a great actor and uh, author, author of 15 books. So that, that, that's my aim is to, to have 15 books before I uh, uh, ring the bell for, you know, uh, uh, up above, so to speak. You know, if I can get 15 books under my belt, I'll be doing well. And how, how many have you got at this moment in time? Uh, I've published uh, uh, four books at the moment. Uh, I, I actually write in two genres. Uh, the other genre being science fiction. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but, but then I've got three books in the Pride series. Uh, one of them is unmentionable on your radio show, mm-hmm. uh, so we'll not mention that one. <laughs> uh, the, the other is Pride of the Jokes, uh, and that's uh, about the six the family histories of the 16 greatest Scottish managers. Nice. Uh, and I think there's, there's at least uh, there's three uh, Rangers managers in, and Sir Alec Ferguson, who played for Rangers, uh, he also uh, merits a chapter in the book as well. Just a little guess, would it happen to be Bill Struth? One of them? Bill Struth is even before my, my time. I've, I've done it in the modern era. Oh, the modern era, yeah. When, when there was Euro, European football and oh, right, yeah. that sort of It's coming out. Um, 
how did how did you you know have the idea um, to, to to make this book? Was it something that was in the pipeline? Something you always thought about? And well, the, actually, uh, I, I'm a genealogist uh, by profession, mm-hmm. so you know I I, I do family histories uh, nice. you know, for. For clients all over the world, you know, like USA, Australia, New Zealand, uh, and obviously in the UK itself. And I thought, you know, I was out for uh, dinner with a, a, a friend of mine. I said, I've come up with an idea for a book. It's this unreasonable one, by the way. And it's the family history of this team. And he said, That's a great idea. So that that was the idea for the first book, and then obviously I I thought well I I was actually going to leave Pig with the Bears for another two years because that's the fiftieth anniversary. I was going to bring it out the fiftieth anniversary, but there were so many of my Rangers pals saying, "Look, you've done that other book. You've got to do the Rangers book." <laughs> you know, so it's, a, so, it's a great idea. It's a great idea, yeah. Derek, because you know, I've. I've had a flick through, read, read some yeah. some parts of it, and it's yeah. you know everyone knows the story about you know the players, but they don't know the story behind the, the players' families, etc. And you, t- you touch on that. Without these people, the whole point of family history is without your family history, you would never have been there in the first place. Exactly. And what the book tells you is where they came from. They migrated from the Western Isles or migrated. Uh, Derek Johnson, uh, I think it's up to uh, Aberdeenshire, Bamshire, and then they went down to Dundee's family, that sort of thing. So it tells you how they, they migrated uh, and it then coalesces with these 16 players all coming together for that one night in Barcelona. And if they didn't have their mothers and fathers, their grandparents, their great grandparents, None of them would have been there on that night. And that, that, that's where the idea from, uh, behind these books has come from. And, and, and I found some really good stuff here. Because I like Derek Parley. His family were gen- lived in Rue for generations. Now, you'll know as a, a great Rangers man, yeah. is that Rue has a special place in the hearts of Rangers, uh, Rangers fans because two of the the founding four actually came from the Yeah, founding fathers, yep. And that, that, so I, I explained that in the book as well. Another thing we're going to touch on as well is, um, you know, obviously you've mentioned um, what what the, the purpose of the book is, etc. But what do you think the Rangers fan will enjoy the most about the book? I mean, um, of course there is in-depth... Um, as in-depth knowledge um, of you know the, the, the players' families, etc. But overall, what, what what do you think the, the, the readers will, will enjoy most about the book? Well, uh, it, you may get a lot of people who, you know, I mean, a lot of fans actually just collect books because they're Rangers books, so they want that book because it's yeah. it's about the Glasgow Rangers. Uh, you may even have a lot of uh, fans who collect stuff just about the. Barcelona Bears, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, but if you're, a, if you're a Rangers fan, you're a, say, just a skimmer and scammer. You just go through the book and you just want to take the bits you want. Well, at least you'll get an idea of the careers, you know, of the players, you know, which I, I give a brief summary of the, the players' careers, you know, where they where they were signed from, you know, like where they started in junior football or something like that, he, uh, up until the point, say, where they left Rangers, you know, that kind of thing. He, but what, what they might find interesting is that quite a few of the players uh, also had ancestors who were professional footballers as well, so it, it went down the generations. People like Tommy McLean, for instance. Uh, I think his grandfather played for Rangers. Mm-hmm. Now, I think he only played nine times or something like that. Uh, or he only scored six goals. But Tommy was very proud of the fact that his grandfather also played for Rangers. 
Uh, Alfred Conn, his father, uh, was one of the terrible trio at Harps. Uh, so, um, you know, I think a lot of fans would be interested uh, to hear that. Uh, but they'll also be interested to see the origins. Uh, I mean, the likes of Billy McDonald's an interesting one. Because how the McDonald's come from South Europe? Now, South Europe is not known as a big hotbed of Rangers fans. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. You possibly do. Mm -hmm. um, but the, McDonald's, and the McDonald's of South Europe go back to the likes of the Lords of the Isles and all that. So very, very, very strongly connected uh, to the Lords of the Isles when the McDonald's ruled the Western the whole of the western Scotland and right down to the Isle of Man. You know, so, yeah, I think they'll be fascinated about some of the history. Yeah, I mean, I mean right. also, the, it, it, the book encompasses two world wars and some of, some of the, the, some of the ancestors actually fought in these wars, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I think they'll be interested to know that as well. Another thing I was going to say, um, now, a lot of listeners listening just now would say, OK, um, I, you know, I want this book, so where's the best place to get the book? How would our listeners get hold of, of your book, Derek? Right. Well, they can actually, uh, they can get it direct from me uh, uh, at my, uh, I've got a Facebook page, Pride of the Bears. Uh, it is uh, on Amazon, uh, but the at the moment, there's some sticking point with Amazon. Uh, it's just, it keeps showing out of stock. The best point at the moment is to get in touch with me through the Pride of the Bears. The other books, uh, the other two books um, that I've got out in the Pride series are in Waterstones. But because of the current restrictions, I can't get to Waterstones to... to Stop them, the Pride of the Bears, but the hope is that I will be getting it into Waterstones in due course. And that would be like Socky Hall Street, Argyle Street, uh, the Plaza, the Fort, um, Silver Bum, and Brayhead. You know, they, they all take my they all take my Pride books. And how how much is your book to purchase? Well, if you come direct to me. Um, I, I offer a signed copy for seven pound plus. Um, that's because I'm buying it at, at, at cost. Seven pound plus uh, two pound for postage and packing. So that's nine pound. If you get it in Waterstones or Amazon, uh, it's nine ninety nine. That's the recommended retail price. And let's be quite honest. For a for a Rangers book with so much information on it, that's yeah. an abs abs an absolute bargain. Nine pound. Yeah. There yep. To, yep. To, to well, I mean, $9.99 is the recommended retail price. Uh, that's, that's for a book uh, which is non-factual. Yeah. That's, that's the price range uh, for that book and the size of that book. Yep. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's a fairly easy read for, for, for a Rangers fan because the maximum amount of words I was allowed to do for that price range was 40000 It's not like you're reading a, a massive novel. I was going to say that, that, John. And, 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 sorry, Derek. And, and the thing is, um, what's happening there is is the fact that I've, I've read through, I've read, you know, part of the book as well, and you're not, you're not going on and on and on chapters and for, for a while. You're actually, what you're doing, you've got a player there, a little bit about him, and, and then a little bit about his farm, etc. So it's quite... Yeah. It's, it's you know, structured in a way yeah, where... It's, kind of bro it's broken down into subsections. Yeah. But you could actually just pick and choose the subsections. And I like that about the book. I, yeah. also, I like about the book because you can look at a player, see if it talks you want to know about um, yeah. Peter McCoy, for, ex for example. Yeah. You can look at Peter McCoy and say, I always wanted to know... Know something about Peter, so you, you can look about his his family, yep. etc. You can switch, you can you can go through the book and just you know pick your, your player, so to speak. Well, I mean the, the thing about Peter, uh, and I, I actually met him in the Legends Lounge. My brother uh, introduced me to him. I've, I've never shaken a man with fists as big as him. They were absolutely. Like the White House. House. Eh? Yeah, absolutely. And, and the thing is, eh, it's always known as the Gavin Lighthouse. But when I when I said to him I was researching the book, 
He was actually surprised at how much Irish history was in his uh, uh, in his family history. Uh, and the uh, you know, I mean, they, they came they came over from Ulster. They were they were weavers basically, weavers and kind of carpet makers. Uh, and they came over to the Loch Winnoch area. And his family lived in uh, it was actually in Howard, but but in the parish of Loch Winnoch. Uh, but obviously he he moved uh, the family. He when he I think. When he grew up, he then moved to Girvan, and that's where, that's where he got the Girvan Lighthouse uh, in Monica. Yeah, it, it's, it's, you know, it's, 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 fa it's fascinating, you know, um, when, when, when you do, well, without giving too much away, when you do go into the... Uh, the, the, the players' family side of things. There's a lot of stuff that you, you, you do not know. But listen, listen, Derek, it's been absolutely fantastic getting you on here. And I'm, and I'm sure the listeners will be uh, we want to get this book very soon. So what we'll do is, um, any anyone who's listening uh, tonight, um, we will put up a post on iBrooks Radio with all the information you need to get hold of, of, of this book. Um, it's the Pride of the Bears. Thank you very much for joining us here. Um, okay, it's a pleasure to talk to you, Kenny. And, uh, and as I say, I, I look forward to uh, interested Rangers fans getting in touch with me. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Derek. Thank you. There we go, guys. That was Derek Niven, the author um, of the... Pride of the Bears book, so a very, very good, interesting little interview we had with him there during the week. So we do thank him uh, for, 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 you know, speaking to us.